Today I'm going to show you the most advanced tabletop hydroponic system on the market. In these two units I have a total of 42 plants. Most of it is myrrh lettuce, which is a very crispy lettuce. I also have two pepper plants that I'm going to move out of this system into another system. Then I also have two Heinz 1350 tomato plants. This variety of tomato plant is the same tomatoes that Heinz uses to make their ketchup. The unit on the left here, I've been harvesting off this for salads for work. And since it holds so many plants, there's still a ton of lettuce in the system. I have one tomato plant in each unit. I'm not sure if I want to keep it in this unit or just move it to like a five gallon bucket or into my bigger system yet. This unit on the right, I just put this lettuce in this system about a week ago. I moved it from my nursery into the let pot system. I do have a couple other varieties in this system. I just have a couple more things to show you before we get into the advanced features of this unit. Here's uh, two of my pepper plants. I had extra from when I filled up my uh, lettuce grow system full of peppers. So I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with these two yet. Let's check out these plants here, see how they're looking. I'm gonna take them out of this unit here and uh, we'll put them under some brighter light so we can see how they're, how they're looking. Now you'll be able to get a better idea how much lettuce is really in this one small unit. It's uh, pretty compact. It's pretty crazy how much lettuce one small unit can grow. This uh, lettuce is very crispy, so you don't have to worry about it not getting enough air between the leaves and it getting uh, soft and soggy. Here you can see some of the root system on these plants. They look good. So I'm gonna go sit this down and uh, we'll move on to how the system works a little bit here. On the back right here is where you add your liquid nutrients. You just uh, pour it in this little compartment. To turn the screen on on this system, you can hit any button on the front panel. Then I'm gonna hit the third button from the left. I'm actually gonna hold it down for like two seconds. This is gonna turn the watering on for this system, so it's gonna fill the unit with water here. You can also use the app for any of these features, but you never have to use it if you don't want to. You can always use the buttons on the front of the screen. I'm gonna show you how this app works here a little bit. I have three different units. First, I pick which unit I want to adjust. And after you pick the unit, your phone will connect to it. Once the app opens up here, on the top level here, you can see uh, how much water's in the system and the water temperature. Next, you have your on-off switch if you wanna power off the entire unit. Next is your LED light setting if you're doing flowers or vegetables. And after that, you have your uh, hours, what time you want the unit to turn on and off each day. And here you can actually uh, also adjust the light intensity. I thought was interesting. You can turn the light up and down as you want. I just leave it on 100% at all times. The unit just detected it's full. So the water's on shut off here on the left. And as soon as it shuts off, you see it right there, it's shooting nutrients in. It does that automatically after it fills the unit. So then I'm gonna check the EC of the nutrients, basically how strong the nutrients are in the water. And since I'm using air garden and not to supply nutrients, uh, my EC levels on the high side. So in the future, I just need to start diluting the nutrients before I add it into the little compartment on the back right. That way when it shoots it in, it's not so strong. Then since my EC is too high, it's just gonna make my uh, pH on the low side. 
that's just how it works it's really common so I'll just have to adjust this unit a little bit before I uh, put the lid back on Now the bucket down here on the left here is where it pulls the water from when it fills the unit. So you can use any size bucket you want to. You could even use like a 50 gallon drum if you wanted to if you're leaving for a month at a time. I'm going to show you how easy it is to put these plants back in here. I'm doing it just with one hand and it just sits on the top and you just gently push down on each side and it sits in and it has no light leaks in the system so you won't get any algae in there. And I'm gonna show you what these uh, roots look like in this system, especially this uh, tomato plant on the back left here, the beautiful white roots.